Good afternoon. My name is Jack, and we welcome you to the Social Yet Distanced podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about on being an angel, showcasing Francesca Woodman's photography. A little info first. Francesca Woodman was an American photographer known for her black and white images featuring herself or female models, often nude and blurred. Here's some of the key details. She was born in 1958 in Denver, Colorado to her artist parents, George and Betty Woodman. She began taking photographs at age 13 and continued all the way up until her death. She attended the Rhode Island School of Design from 75 to 78, including a year studying abroad in Rome. She moved back to New York City in 1979 to pursue her career in photography. Over the course of that time, she's created over 800 photographs during her short career, and they explored themes of body identity and self-representation. Her work was influenced by surrealism and often featured herself partially hidden or blurred in empty interiors. Struggled to gain recognition all of her life through her work, and she did suffer from depression. She tragically died by suicide in 1981 at the age of 22. Though largely unknown during her lifetime, Miss Woodman, her work has gained significant critical acclaim and influence since her death. Her photographs are noted for their intimate, mysterious quality and an innovative approach to self-portraiture in the female form. She's renowned for several photo- photographic series that explore ID identity themes, themes of the body, and surrealism. Some of her most famous series include Space 2, created in Providence, Rhode Island. This featured Woodman in various poses, often blurred or partially hidden, emphasizing movement and the ephemeral nature of existence. House was taken in an abandoned house. And these photographs depict Woodman interacting with the decaying environment, merging her body with the surroundings. And then Angel, the series included images where Woodman appears as a ghostly figure, is often used using long exposures to create a sense of ethereal presence. Finally, Temple Project was a complex work featuring Woodman and friends as characters among classical architecture, now part of the Metropolitan Museum of Art's permanent collection. These series highlight her innovative use of self-portraiture and her ability to convey deep psychological and emotional states through her craft and through her art. In a tragically short career, cut short by her suicide at 22, Francesca Woodman left behind a prolific body of work exploring gender, sexuality, and the human form through her own nude self-portraits and those of friends. The 2016 book On Being an Angel takes its name from Woodman's ethereal self-portrait photos where she appears angelic with arched back and thrust forward chest, capturing the female form as both physical and translucent. And trans- transcendent. It's a 232 page hardcover retrospective that offers a chronological journey through over a thousand of Woodman's haunting black and white and color photographs. Her images often blur or obscure the subject, merging the female body with the surroundings in a surreal, dreamlike aesthetic. While not overtly feminist, Woodman's depiction of the nude form questioning for identity shares similarities with contemporaries like Anna Mendieta with 105 color plates and context from Woodman's father and critiques. The book cements her influential legacy decades after her tragic passing. Woodman's enigmatic genre blurring work continues inspiring artists and receiving critical examination even today. On Being an Angel preserves the startling, prematurely cut short vision of a young photographer, unafraid to make the human body 
the subject of her own evocative interior explorations. There are some main themes that are explored in this photography book on being an angel. Gender and the female form. Woodman frequently used her own nude body and those of her friends to explore representations of femininity, sexuality, and the female experience. Her photographs blur the lines between the physical and the ethereal aspects of the female figure. Identity and self-portraiture. Many of Woodman's photographs are introspective self-portraits where she obscures, blurs, or merges her body with the surroundings in a surreal, dreamlike way as she grapples with the questions of identity and existence. The human body in space. Woodman's work investigates the relationship between the human form and its environment, often in derelict or abandoned spaces. She uses mirrors, glass, and her own body to create a sense of displacement and unease. Themes of impermanence and mortality are ever present. While not overtly about her eventual suicide, Woodman's photographs convey a haunting quality that speaks to the fragility of life and the human condition, perhaps presaging her own untimely death. While Francesca Woodman is best known for her black and white self-portraits, there are some lesser known works that offer new insights into her artistic range. There are color photographs, a series of color works shot in New York from 1979 to 80, revealing Woodman's experimentation with color while maintaining her signature compositional style. Videos that she made at the Rhode Island School of Design she created videotapes related to her photographs, showing herself interacting with her body in classical imagery. These videos have also been displayed at various museums since 2005. Artistic books. Woodman created several artist books beyond her well-known Some Disordered Interior Geometries. These include Portrait of a Reputation, Quandro de Ditate e de Timi, and Angel's Calendar Notebook. Her early works and high school photographs taken before Rhode Island School of Design show the early development of her themes and style. While she was in Rome, it is known that some specific works from this period are a little bit less familiar, but are definitely worth exploring for their engagement with classical imagery including some of the pictures like from McDowell Colony works, pieces that were created during her artist residency at McDowell Colony in 1980 are much less widely known. Exploring these works can provide a more comprehensive understanding of Woodman's artistic evolution and range way beyond her iconic black and white self-portraits. These works provide a broader understanding of her artistic range and her thematic explorations. Francesca Woodman is best known for her series on the angels, but she also created several lesser known series that explore different themes. Charlie the Model from 76 to 77 featuring a male model. The Eel series created in Rome between 77 and 78 included surreal and symbolic imagery involving eels exploring themes of transformation in the body. Several Cloudy Days, also from her time in Rome, this series captures the interplay of light and shadow, emphasizing mood and atmosphere. All of these works highlight Woodman's versatility and her thematic depth beyond her more famous works. On Angel, this book takes its title from Woodman's iconic self-portrait series on being an angel, where she appears angelic yet grounded, capturing the duality and complexity of the female experience through her own unique artistic vision. Francesca's From the Angel series was inspired by several factors, classical mythology and imagery. This series was created during her time in Rome in 77 to 78, where she was likely influenced by the city's rich artistic heritage and the classical themes. Surrealism also played an important part. 
She was heavily influenced by surrealist artists, and while in Rome, she frequented the Maldoror bookshop, which specialized in surrealist literature, exposing her to works by artists like Man Ray. Exploration of the Body and Identity The series reflects Woodman's ongoing interest in using her own body as a subject, transforming it through various poses and techniques to explore themes of identity and self-representation. There are also ethereal and mystical themes. The angel motif allowed Woodman to create ghostly, spectral images that blur the line between physical and spiritual realms. There was some artistic self-reflexivity in some images, images from this series. Woodman used mirrors as props, symbol, symbolizing the self-reflexive nature of her art and photography itself. Abandoned spaces were also uh, shot in a deserted factory in Rome, using the abandoned environment to create a sense of otherworldliness that complemented the angel theme. From Angel series thus combines her fascination with classical themes, surrealist influences, and her ongoing exploration of the body and identity in evocative abandoned spaces. The From Angel series relates to Woodman's exploration of gender and the self in several key way ways. It blurs the boundaries. The angel motif allowed Woodman to explore liminal space between presence and absence physicality and spirituality. This reflects her broader interest in how the female body relates to its surroundings and questions of identity. Self-representation. By portraying herself as an angel, Woodman continued her practice of using her own body as both the subject and the object, examining female representation and self-image. Transformation. The series depicted Woodman's body in ethereal, ghostly forms, often blurred, partially obscured. This transformation of the physical self aligns with her ongoing exploration of identity fluidity. Classical and sur surrealist influences. Shot in an abandoned building in Rome, the series incorporates classical imagery and surrealist techniques, reflecting Woodman's interests in reinterpreting artistic traditions through a female perspective. Her staging and performance, the carefully composed images featuring props like white cloths resembling wings, demonstrate women's use of performance and staging to construct and deconstruct notions of femininity and of selfhood. Through the from Angel series, Woodman continues to challenge her conventional representations of the female body and explore the complex relationship between the physical identity and the self-representation. There is vulnerability and power. The nude or semi-nude figure in abandoned spaces suggests both vulnerability and a kind of otherworldly power, reflecting the complex nature of self-perception and representation. Through all of these elements, the From Angel series continues Woodman's broader exploration of identity, the body, and the self, using the angel motif to delve into the questions of existence, representation, and the nature of being. I hope that you enjoyed a little, uh, learning a little bit more about Francesca Woodman Please dig deeper and investigate. I'm going to list my sources in the uh, description box of the uh, video. And as always, like, subscribe, share this video. And you feel free to join us at uh, uh, buymeacoffee.com slash social yet distance to become a, a part of the club. Thanks. You guys have a great day.